Welcome back to Thord Mods and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Gek or Garden of Eden Creation Kit for Fallout 3. This website gek.bethsoft.com is where you need to go for the Gek. I will put a link in the description below. Now, on the main page there's two sections of interest. One is actually called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit and it's this bit and in here you've got some direct links to download the Garden of Eden creation kit and the 1.5 update because you must have version 1.5 to modify for Fallout 3. Below that is this section here which is official tutorials. Now in there there's a thing setting up the GEC. If I click on that there appear to be um, download links for the Fallout 3 GEC here. However, if I click on that, I get the Bethesda Net website. Okay, so what I would do, and what I do, is from the main page, use these links here. So I download the Garden of Creation Kit, Garden of Eden Creation Kit by clicking there and save. Obviously I've done it already. And then uh, download the update and put it in a place. And that's done. Now I'm going to select both of those and copy. Pop over to the sorry. Um, pop over to the Steam client. I'll right click on where it says Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. Properties, local files, browse local files. I'm now in the installation folder for the game. So I'm just going to right click and paste it into there. Now, I've already been sort of experimenting with this making sure everything was right. So I'm, they were already there, but I'll replace the files anyway. There is a file called Fallout 3 Garden of Eden Creation Kit that comes with the game. However, I do not know the version of that, so I don't trust it. When you go through the install, it doesn't say which version it's installing. So I would stick to the ones you can download from the GET website. So the first thing to do now is to install Fallout 3 getexe When you run it, so when you run it for the first time, you get this. Instead of install, you'll see modify, repair, and remove. Now, I don't know um, what it's modified, repaired. It seems to have installed something, but it has not installed it in the correct folder, which is the game folder. Because if it was there, you'd see gec.exe is not there. I don't know what it's done. So I just remove it. Yes, finish, fine. So it's, wherever it was, it's gone, and that's perfect. Fallout 3 gec.exe again. Now then, this time, look, I've got a, a normal installation window. Next, read this. Click on accept the terms. Next. And you get this. Now, by default, it will try to install it to C program files or program files x86. Bethesda Softworks Fallout 3. Now, if you had bought this game on CD many years ago, this is where the game would have installed. But we have it from Steam, or I have it from Steam anyway. Um, so I want it to go into this folder where my uh, game is actually installed. So if I go into the D drive, my, mine's D for Delta, but yours probably be the C drive, I don't know. Into program files, and I'll look for Steam and then go down to Steam Apps, Common, here's all the games. Now, I choose Fallout 3 GOTY, Game of the Year Edition, and it's actually the folder I'm looking at. So you can see the path at the top here, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and so on. So that's what I've been looking for, and I'll just click OK, and now it's correct. Next, Install, Finish done and you can see now I've got the get exe file is in the right folder I don't know where it was or what it was doing before I only know it was not in the right place so um, if it was there at all hard to tell so now I'm going to run the update file anyway to get up to version 1.5 which we need just run that and gec is about to be updated okay if you try to run the update exe file 
from another location, it will tell you that it cannot find the, the, the file it needs. Now, that is because the update file has to be in the same folder as the get.exe file for the update to work. Okay, so that is now installed. I'm not actually sure if, the, if it puts a shortcut in the start menu. There's one, there's the uh, recently added thing. Or on the desktop. No, it doesn't put one on the desktop. So you might have to create a shortcut. I'm sure you know how to do that, but if you don't, you just right click on the file and then send to desktop create shortcut. Done. It's here. So I can open the GEC. I can open as many of these as I want to. I don't have to change anything. There's none of that creation kit modifying any files and so on to get it working. Or in fact, you do, actually you do have to do something with New Vegas as well, but luckily not with this one. So you just let it run for a moment just to show you it does work. You'll get error messages just like every Bethesda game <laughs> since and probably before as well. And there we are. Now, if you're interested in learning how to use this, um, I will be doing uh, mostly tutorials and so on for um, Fallout 4. But in fact, the principles are pretty much the same. It uses the same game engine. This software is more or less the same as the creation kit that I'll be using. I might go back and do a bit of um, Fallout 3 modding as well, but no promises. Either way, um, if you're interested in finding out, I suggest that you have a look at the Fallout 4 things, troll the forums, Google, and so on. Anyway, that's enough from me. Goodbye. Have a nice, uh, a nice good time with uh, Fallout 3, and see you in another video. Goodbye.